Hey everybody, Rambles here, and welcome back to our Ark Hunter leveling campaign here in WoW Classic Cataclysm. We are starting things off in Tanneris today. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I make money around here selling animal parts. I've been perfecting a foolproof method of maximizing profit, the Butcher Bot. These little guys are programmed to harvest every scrap of usable material from the wildlife around here on a case-by-case -case basis. He does all the work, and best of all, only I know how to get the goods back out of him. If you're interested in making some coin, take one of these guys for a spin. I need some glass hide basilisk parts. You'll find a bunch to the south. Have a good one. All right, we also had a, a breadcrumb leading us here, so we probably should go turn that in. Seaside Selvage, we've got to get goods moving in this market ASAP if we want to be competitive. I've got an angle for us. Gadget stands under blockade by pirates, but plenty of the goods that get blown off the ship survive intact. They just wash away. Most of them wash up in the shallows just south of town. Head down there and start salvaging. There's crates full of pure profit just floating around down there. And puddle stomping. Here's the situation. If we want to establish the Bilgewater Cartel's market presence in Gadgetstan, we'll need to start providing services to the community. The new coast has been great business here, but the sea also brought sea giants in. They're large, foul, and drive real estate values way down. Head to the shallow south of town and kill as many as you can. Alright, that looks like everything right now. Let's head out and get going. We've got somebody else out here killing every single basilisk in the area, so I'm gonna let them have it. And we will go after the tidal striders and we'll look for the crates, and then we'll just kind of let them move on. We'll let the basilisk respawn and we'll go from there. Guys, I'd hate, I hate to say this, but our inventory's full, and I'd hate to have to do this, but we have to go back to town. I was supposed to vendor, and I didn't do it. Not really a big surprise. It's been a while. The, uh, the frost bags have gotten us very far between vendoring. Uh, also, I think right now I'm just gonna mail off a lot of the... I'm going to mail off a lot of my materials to my bank alt. I'm going to have to pick a time that's convenient to just kind of work on that all at once. Because of the way questing has been set up where we don't have one central hub, it's hard to follow, like... It's hard to follow the plan of, like, going out, doing questing, coming back, and working on crafting. Because we're, we're going out and coming back so frequently, 
we're using like smaller quest hubs that don't always have trade good vendors and things like that. Time is money, friends. So yeah, first let's sell a bunch of stuff. Should be good just to sell basically everything here. Guys, I found the riverboat. <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys left comments about this. I, I've been recording uh, in bulk. So I, I wouldn't have seen any of those comments probably by this point. Well, maybe now I, I'd probably be starting to see them. But yeah, I, I found our boat. And thankfully we, just, we don't need it anymore. Mystery solved. We, we got around okay without it. Let's find the mailbox. And I'll just send everything to my bank alt for now. There we go. Now we should be good on inventory space.
All right, so that's crates taken care of. That's giants taken care of. Now we have to see about finding the basilisks. Oh, we can still skin them. Even after the robot does its thing, we can still skin them. That's that's good to know. I thought it was going to be an either skin them or use the quest item type of situation. Too much competition out here for these basilisks, and they're only found in such a small area. This, this quest is going to quickly become a little bit of a pain. Uh, I'm hoping that we just find a bunch more of them somewhere, maybe beyond the quest tracking. I will point out that we're, we are finding a lot of them way outside of the marked quest area. Which just goes to show you that, you know, the in-game quest tracking has been basically always a little bit off. You really can't trust it completely.
Yeah? What do you want? Keep your ear to the ground. Be careful out there. Go get him, champ. We got exalted status with the guild. That's awesome. Have a good one. Go get him, champ. Uh, Rocket Rescue, all right, Rambles. We've done enough small jobs around here. It's time to seal the deal. The ruins of Steamweedle Port are still full of hapless Steamweedle goblins waiting to be rescued. Every single one of them is a potential future customer. They're firing on every boat that leaves the port, so I say we take to the skies. There's a hot air balloon just outside of town near the docks. We can use that. Go ahead and hop in. I'll catch up with you. Keep it real. Now that I know you're not squeamish, I've got another job for you. Have you seen the red feathered birds swarming around the bones out there? Those are fire rocks. They'll light you up good if you're not careful. They're also pretty darn valuable thanks to their unique anatomy. Most of the hunters loafing around here aren't up to the task of killing fire spitting buzzards for money. Think you can handle it? Be good. I think that we probably can. We got another quest over here. Talk to me. Uh, Thunderdrome. Right back. The rules are simple. Two men enter, one... Wait, sometimes there's women. Two people enter, one... Wait, no, sometimes it's more than two. And that means more than two come out. Hmm, alright. Only rule is stay in the drome. There are no other rules. You're up against the biggest, baddest member of the Wastewander Bandits first. This'll either be a warm-up or a blood... A warm-up or a bloodbath. It's up to you which. Glad I could help. Uh, okay. Um, this is an elite quest. Into the Thunder Drome. Alright, here we go. Can we take an elite on unassisted? Well, that's one down. I want I thought it was going to be maybe like a ring of blood type of deal. What can I do for you? See you around. Oh, uh, it is kind of like a ring of blood type of deal. Keep it real. All right, let's keep going with it until we get killed by something.
Farewell. That's it. Oh man, we didn't even get a blue weapon at the end of it all. Okay, well that was a fun little distraction. Uh, on to the hot air balloon, I think, now. Uh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I, I hit the wrong button, guys. I, I hit the wrong damn button. <sighs> they said, th she said throw rocket life packs down. I hit the thing that looked like a rocket pack and it was the wrong button. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh God. All right, let's let's try that again. This time with 100% less fail, I hope. Our pet has learned to levitate. That's always a good skill to have in a pet. Alright, well we saved everybody we needed to save, now we have to destroy some people. I don't... I don't see the enemies to destroy. Maybe they're only on the boats. I can't hit the boats from here.
Bye. Friend. See you around, friend. All right, let's head south for now, and we will gather up the fire rocks. Uh, we have a quest to meet that lady over at the cove back to the east.
All right, let's head back to town. We'll turn this in and we'll see what's next. The hyenas wandering the waste here might look scrawny, but they've got some of the strongest jaws you'll find. If you're not careful, they'll take a leg off in one bite. That kind of bone strength is a valuable resource, my friend, just waiting to find a buyer. Take one of my butcher bots with you. Jaw separation isn't an easy task, and this little guy has been set up to know exactly what to do. Be good. All right, we are going after hyenas. I think we're just going to do everything around here, and then when we run out of stuff to do, we'll head over to the east.
money, friend. Have a good one. If you're looking for more work, I've got a line for you. I know an elf by the name of Trenton Lighthammer who's been obsessed with the sand trolls near here for years. He's dead set on finding some kind of mythical sword made by them. And just a while ago, he finally got a crew together to go to San Saro Watch and look for it. Last I heard, they kicked the trolls out of one of their camps and set up shop there. Look for it to the west near Zulfarak. Uh, that sounds much more interesting than doing more goblin stuff. So even though this is pro it's probably just going to be a bunch of dungeon quests. You know, like I, I realize that that's all it's probably going to be. Uh, despite that, let's go let's go check it out. And maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised and it'll be open world stuff to do. Cuz yeah, the alternative is that we run all the way over here and start doing more stuff for the goblin lady. Greetings. Good luck, friend. Marin sent you. I'm appreciative of his help. I'm here to seek out Sothres. If you wish to help, speak to Mazoga. He's been cooperative so far. Uh, I'm with Scorpid. You gotta help me. You just gotta. Chelsea and I came out here to make a bit of money just to sell some supplies. Legit work. Next thing I know, she's on her deathbed. She's got a fever that'd shock a blacksmith, and she's hallucinating. She must have been stung by the scorpion near here. I've seen it happen. It's not pretty. I gotta get some poison glands to make an antidote, but I can't leave her side. Right back. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. Um, and then this dude here probably has the ZF quest. Blood to thrive. Or not. To survive in the harsh desert, the Sand Fury had to learn the secrets of blood magic. You drink the blood, you, gr you get the power. Darkest voodoo. But there's no room for holding back out here. If we're gonna find the sword, we need blood. Lucky for you, Mazoga, be a traitor. And there are plenty of Sand Fury trolls wandering over the hills there. Go get Mazoga blood. Plenty of blood. Okay, so we're not going into the dungeon yet. That's awesome. Let's go after the Duneclaw Stingers first, and then we'll go after the Trolls. We, we've been having a lot of competition here today. It seems like maybe this is a place where people bottleneck. This is probably the most people we've seen in one zone while leveling up. And yeah, we're not, we're not going to make any progress if I'm stopping to skin everything.
All right, now let's go after some troll blood. Fistful of blood, which doesn't really make any sense, but there it is anyway. Are we going to find any living trolls? Uh, yeah, a couple of them. Apparently most of these trolls simply don't have blood.
how you doing? Be good. Yo! <laughs> Glad I could help. Keep it real. Hurry back. Gargantipid. No, it didn't work. I don't know what to do unless... Oh gosh, it's worse than I thought. She must have been stung by one of the one lurking in the cave. I saw it in the first night we arrived. Claws the size of a goblin. A tail as tall as a tree. We shared hush whispers of it around the campfire. We called it Gargantipede. Hey, are you laughing? Stop that. This is serious. Chelsea's life is on the line. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Just bring me Gargantipede's poison gland. The blood speaks. I can feel its flow through the sand, drenched in death. A desert, a desert of suffering. Because desert is spelled with two S's. Because you want more desert. There, the blood flows to the south in a valley of bones. Zakaru, Zakaru, spawn of mockery, the dark one who demands sacrifice. His father forced from Zulfarak, His ascension interrupted. He will taste blood once more. Go, Hunter. Zakaru has sang threes. You'd not be wanting to keep him. Trust me. I don't know what's going on with this quest. Uh, first, let's go after Gigantipede. Talk to me! Keep it real! Hurry back! There's a strength in stam trinket. There is a stam and in trinket, but there's no agility trinkets? That's really annoying, seeing as how I don't have a trinket. There's some boots that I don't need. Keep it real! Okay. All right, that's it for Chelsea. Let's head to the south. We do have a talent point. I, I just really like, I don't know. Let's just do this. None of the talent choices have been very interesting. Maybe I should try Beast Mastery Spec for a little while. Maybe that'll get us away from our, our one shot aimed shot rotation. Which we've we've kind of been doing that for a while now. I don't think a one shot aimed shot rotation is gonna get any more exciting at this point. So maybe we'll try uh maybe we'll try Beast Mastery. We still have some levels to go to sixty, so Still have some time.
Yeah, I have uh, I have basically no idea what we're doing down here. Oh, look at this. It's it's this guy. Okay, that's random, but okay. Just a random wind elemental. No big deal. Oh, we can't use any of these items. Jank's rays eludes me. The blood is not enough. We're gonna need something stronger to find it. When you need every troll you got to help out to scrape by, one of them dying on you is a big problem. And that's why the Sand Fury learned to raise our dead with voodoo. You fall over, you just get back up again and keep working. Forever. The zombies we make are imbued with the darkest mojo. Go to the west, find a whole mess of them, and get that mojo.
Yes, I see the other half now, to the south. We're close now. It's an oasis buried in the muck beneath water. Don't delay. Um, well, gotta say, kind of annoyed. <laughs> I guess we, we don't get to do this while someone else is doing it. I'm not really sure. The item is here. We can, we can see the item. Let's wait till he kills this guy. And then we'll go from there. It's just like, it's just populating wet sand. I don't really know what else we're supposed to do here. Hmm. Yeah, this is where it marks it. Oh, maybe we're waiting for this guy to show up. There we go. There's a glove upgrade. Good luck, friend. That foul traitor, I should have known better than the trust is kind. My hunt for Sulthrays has blinded me. Forgive me, Rambles. Mazoga has fled inside Zulf Rock, the heart of Sandfury civilization. If you truly seek the sword, you must pursue him. Do not go alone. The entirety of the Sandfury tribe lies in wait behind those walls, and they will not welcome you. I will stay here. My search for the blade must end. Should you find it, keep it. I must give up before I am consumed. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't done any dungeons on this character at all. Like, what ha What if we do a Zulfurak run? What happens then? Are there even groups going out for this kind of stuff? Is it even worth it to do it? These are all, these are all questions. Uh, I don't think we'll try that today. I think for now, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, we're level 48. Part of me is tempted to go back to Orgrimmar and train. Uh, but the other part of me says just wait till 50. Because at 50, we can train Chainmail. And we can start wearing chain gear. Uh, I think next, we'll have to head out to the cove here. And see what's going down in that area. Thank you guys very much for joining me. I truly do appreciate all the support on the series. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back in Azeroth again very soon. 
Bye for now.